guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you your daily general message for Thursday, October 17th, 2019. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so if you are interested in a private one, all the information is down below in the description box. So, as always, I pulled a 10 card spread, 5 above, 5 five below. I did clarify the last card. Quite interesting energy here. Uh, yeah, I hear you. As well as an outcome card and two clarifiers. So let's get started to whomever this is meant for. You first start off with the death card. I know it's opposite of my phone. It is a major arcana and the direction that she's looking at is towards her past. So I feel that somebody out there wants a change, wants a, a redirection in regards to a change from their past here, okay? Because this has been a long time in regards to receiving that cup of love with the Knight of Cups here, all right? Uh, I do feel that this could definitely be in regards to our twin flame relationship here, as well as it could be a Gemini energy uh, displaying here. But regardless, there, this person is looking for a decision to be made in regards to this relationship, a change so from somebody from their past that has been extremely frustrated in the situation with the uh, the frustration card of the seven of wands here, okay, in regards to not just the king of cups energy, but as well as the queen of cups. So when you have the king and queen of the same suit, in this case, water, does not have to be water, just represent that love, okay, uh, that's a relationship to me, okay, but I feel that somebody is unknown of that change, all right, they're looking towards that past, they want this change, but here's the high priestess right underneath that death card. So that tells me is kind of like, come on, Let's find out the truth here. Let's find that clarity. I don't know if there's going to be ever a change here in regards to, thank you. I feel that with this card here, sometimes this card reminds me of the wheel of fortune with that wheel of that window there behind you, okay? So it's kind of like you see the struggle trying to keep that cup up high. There's that struggle, but you're trying to remain balanced of this situation here, regardless of how frustrating it is. You do have the Queen of Pentacles literally turned looking at this Queen of Cups here, okay? Um, I do feel this frustration is because kind of left out in the dark, okay? Somebody basically ghosted someone in regards to that love, that communication I'm feeling here. That they've been in search of with that frustration with the Nine of Wands here. Now, like I always say, I literally take what is pointing at, looking at. This guy is looking out towards the future. What is he looking for? A decision to be made, okay? Something spiritually guided, especially with the judgment card here, a highly uh, spiritual energy here, as well as that twin flame energy of the twins, okay? Of that lover's card there. His telescope is literally facing that judgment card. Now, the one message I did receive as well, and it, it proves it even more with that high priestess, very spiritual, twin flame, twin energy here, regardless Somebody I feel is in touch with their spiritual side, okay? Talking to their spirit guide, okay? Talking talking it out, you know, in regards to, can you hear me on the other side, okay? I get there. I get that. Been there, done that, okay? So I totally get that. It, the Nine of Wands is a very long energy here, especially with basically two nights present in this spread and the outcome. So this is a very, very long journey here in regards to waiting for a decision to be made uh, I feel that it's very divinely guided, and I also feel that somebody is kind of looking out for the answers on um, the other side in regards to the universe here, their spirit guide. Be in touch with that. Now, here's the clincher, okay? Here's the thing. You got the Knight of Pentacles here. That Knight is that slow pace heading towards the past. So, Trying to get there to the past here, trying to have that change, trying to have that pentacle energy, which is the balance here, okay? But the thing is, you got the five of swords. Five of swords is that wishy-washy energy of going back and forth, back and forth in your mind kind of thing, totally confused, mentally anguished here to start anew here. The thing is, is that you have such very powerful cards in regards to the high priestess and the judgment card here. Wow, there's a major, there's lots of major arcanas here as well. Hang on. There's one, two, three, four, five, five major arcanas. That's a strong message from spirit saying what you're doing here is, or what you should try to focus on is trying to release that mental anguish. Yeah, 
I'm, I'm just here to give the message. I'm not here to judge. Believe me, I've been there, done that, okay? So what this tells me, it's been a journey. It's been a long time since you've had that balance to start this new relationship here, okay? To start anew in regards to love. But it's mentally challenging you, and you don't know which direction to go in. Now, with all these spiritual cards here with the judgment and the high priestess, highly spiritual, that means that they see what's going on. They're trying to make that decision, but it's kind of like, you got to you gotta calm the mind. You got to release that mental anguish to start anew. With each ending comes a new beginning, okay? It's kind of like you make that choice in regards to this relationship by dropping the frustration, the mental anguish of the situation. You're in search of that, uh, that past relationship. You're looking for that change from the past, okay? But you're one of the unknown. Exactly. You have to have the... Okay. They're bringing up my... I know I... I said this a, a few, like a month ago, probably longer than that, but they're bringing up this story. This one time I was raised Catholic, oh, well, that, that's my whole life, but yeah, uh, and you could not talk in church, okay? You could not talk in church or else you're going to deal with the papa bear. <laughs> this one time I whispered over to my mom in her ear, I said, who is the priest talking about? <laughs> and I said, well, why, why do we have to, who is this person? I just, I was like seven years old. I didn't quite understand that we're talking about this, this God, okay, and Jesus, but we've never actually met him. I mean, it was an honest, innocent question, okay, to, from a seven-year-old to her mother. That to me was meant for answer the question, mom. She leaned over and she said, it's not what you see, it's what you believe. Okay, so that's the question at hand here. What do you believe? Do you believe I'm, what I'm seeing here is that somebody is definitely turning towards the lighter side of the situation, asking for that help in this situation, for them to help guide you, for them to, to make that decision to have that new beginning. But the thing is, is that somebody out there is mentally anguished over this, frustrated in the dark. And what Spirit's message today is, Believe in us. Believe in the universe. Believe that we have your back in this situation. Believe that this meant to be relationship, okay? And believe that we are working on things to make that decision in regards to a new. But you also have to take that challenge in regards to mentally calming yourself with the mental anguish and the frustration because you are actually manifesting with your thoughts, okay? And when you manifest with your thoughts, you don't want to be mumble jumbled with frustration and mental anguish because that's lowering, first off, that's lowering your vibra your vibration level. How I explain that is spirit is basically the, your spirit guide universe is up on the ninth floor, okay? We're down on the fifth floor on a normal day. If you're mentally anguished and frustrated, you're down on the second. You want to try to get back to normal or at least higher that vibration level so that way you're mouth to ear. Spirit can guide you, can speak to you, can show you the signs. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I have. Manifest properly with your thoughts. Release that mental anguish because spirit can hear your thoughts and they want you to heal yourself and that frustration. And that's what I have. I hope that this helps, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Also, click that little bell on the side to get updated information. I do appreciate you guys. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.